Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's go and take a look at Stickies. So Stickies is a program that has its origins way before Mac OS X that allows you to put tiny little sticky notes all over your screen to give you reminders of things or as a useful place to keep text and images and things like that. Let's take a look. So to get into Stickies, what you need to do is go to the Applications folder and run Stickies. Once you do that, you either get some samples or you'll get a blank note. Now, you can type anything you want into a note and you can also resize it very easily by dragging the bottom right corner. And then once you've got this, you can go ahead and move it around the screen like that and uh, put it anywhere you want. You can create new sticky notes at any time by doing File, New Note and creating one there. Now you can go ahead and change the fonts, colors, make it bold, all sorts of things like that um, by using the font menu. You can also go ahead and change the color of a note. So you can change that note to a color and this note to a color as well. In addition, you can change some properties of the notes. Like for instance, here I've got a note that is behind different windows. But if I want to make sure this always stays on the top, I can change it to a floating window. And this will make sure that it's always on the top. You can see even when I've got applications, this uh, finder window here called application selected, this note stays on top. Whereas in this note here will actually go underneath it. And if you want, you can also change the note to be translucent. So you can kind of see what's under it like that. So not only can you use text, but you can use images as well. So for instance, you can drag and drop a picture into a sticky note. Uh, you can even use a smaller graphical element like that and you can embed it inside a text like that. Also, you can go ahead and when you set things like the fonts and note color and the type of note and all that and you get it something you really like and want to use as your default, you can go ahead and set use default like that. Then when you go ahead and create a new note, you'll see it's the same way. It's translucent, it's floating, it's going to use the same font style as the note that you had selected when you set use default. You can also go ahead and create lists inside sticky notes, which of course is really useful if you're going to do a little to-do list. So you can do this and then you can go ahead and do option tab to indent and start a list. And then you can go further in with another option tab or you can go back out with shift tab like that. So stickies don't have scrolling bars. So if you make a sticky too small to fit the content, you won't be able to see it all. And you simply use the arrow keys to navigate through the text rather than a scrolling bar. Another thing you can do with stickies is you can click, double click on the top bar there and it will shrink it to be just a really thin little bar and you can double click at any time to expand it. So this is a really great way to go ahead and uh, you know save some space on your desktop, especially with lots of stickies. You could also go ahead and arrange your stickies in various ways. So you can arrange them, say, by the color of the sticky. And what will happen is they'll zoom down over here to this side and arrange on top of each other. Now when you go ahead and undo that, the command Z, it'll stick them back where it is. So you can kind of play with the arrangement functionality like that and get them right back to where they're supposed to be. Now in addition to that, you can also go ahead and hover over a stick at any time to get information about it. So if I hover over here, I see where when it was created and when it was modified. Now, how do you save your stickies? Well, you don't. Stickies are saved automatically. So if I go ahead and would quit stickies like that and then go back into the applications and run stickies, it would instantly bring back up those that I've had before. So basically it saves automatically. If you really want to, you can go ahead and export the text from the stickies. Also, you can import text into them. I find though stickies the best thing to do if you want to say export the text from a single one is to simply copy and paste it and the same thing for getting text into it. Now you can also go ahead and print the active note, the one selected, or print all notes. So if you saved a bunch of things in here like a to-do list and you want to take that to go, you can go ahead and print the active note. So here's some examples of a whole bunch of sticky notes. Like for instance, you can have a little to-do list. You can keep some needed data in them. Like some, sometimes if you're an artist, you need to always remember you have to export certain sizes and you keep a little note there for yourself about it. Uh, you can keep a quick little note instead of starting a text document on something. Uh, you can put a lot of reminders and sometimes it helps then to make fonts a little bigger 
uh, for reminders and things like that. One of the cool things you can do is you can search all of your stickies. So inside of stickies you do Command F for find and you can search for something like that in all notes and it will go and find it in the note where that word is located. When you have a lot of notes like this it pays to use the arrangement feature. So you can go ahead and arrange them all by content like that. Sticks them all there. Now one of the cool things you can do is you can create stickies from a lot of different Mac applications. So for instance here Safari and I can go ahead and highlight something and I do Command Shift and Y and it will go ahead and create a new sticky note with the text that I've selected. So here's a quick look at stickies. Give it a try and see if you find it useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>